If we want to prevent species from extinction, we need to carefully manage remaining untouched lands. Land use change is probably the number one threat that biodiversity is facing. The High Five Project is an initiative to identify and help protect the places where biodiversity is most at threat from extinction. Species are the elements that are behind a healthy planet. The macaw, they're beautiful animals as you see them flying over the rainforest canopy. The great green macaw is one of the few species that are able to carry large seeds. These trees have important economic value to livelihoods there. Unfortunately, fewer and fewer of these birds exist. So understanding where that species may be impacted by future land use in the region is absolutely vital. The Half Earth map sets out to provide a spatially specific map of conservation priorities. We humans want to advance our economies. Change is not a bad thing necessarily. What would be a bad thing if you're not smart about how and where we're changing? Often it's just been the information that's been lacking. Here at, at Yale, another project, Map of Life, provides science supporting the Half Earth Project, and in particular, species by species spatial information. It's bringing together students from Yale, scientists, and a whole set of collaborators to develop information that feeds the Half Earth Project. As you go on the Half Earth Map website, you'll be able to look at biodiversity priority patterns, existing reserves, and human pressures you'll be able to see the global scale in the 3D globe as well as all the way down to the local scale at the landscape level in as high a spatial detail as possible. For example, hummingbirds, you'll get to appreciate both the larger global geography of this group. It's obviously restricted to the Americas. You can go in here and then really differentiate the places just a few kilometers apart that may support 20 or 50 species of hummingbirds and then perhaps just one a few locations over. We're really excited to, to work with ESRI in the Half Earth project. It's through that detail and engaging visualizations that we are able to get biodiversity into the decision making. If you'd like to, to help the Half Earth project, I encourage you to engage. You may be able to vitally contribute through mapping that you're doing so that you directly can support better conservation decision-making.